Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm here with a very quick little video about stencil storage. I hear this is very popular right now, so um, I'm going to show you how I store my stencils. Now, I am not a uber collector of stencils. Sorry. I'm not a huge collector of stencils because I don't use them near as often as everyone else I know, but I'm going to show you what I've got. I watched and, let's see, I talked to a couple other people who do the notebook storage and the photo album storage and I really like the idea and so I went ahead and did mine that way but my 12 by 12s are in a drawer and I only have like I don't know four or five of them so I'm not going to put those in any kind of a system they're just going to sit in the drawer because that's easier for me all right so this is and see I'm I have stencils in waiting. <laughs> so I put my 6 by 6s in this photo album. I bought it on sale at Hobby Lobby for like 5 or $6. And it had the white paper already in between. I did not add this. It came like that. So I leave my stencils in the original package because I can never remember, I can never remember who the designer is. And I don't want to write it on the white paper because what if I move stuff around or get rid of things and then I'm stuck with it. I have to cross it out. So, this is how I store my 6 by 6s I love the size 6x6. Six six. I don't know why, because my very first jelly plate was a 5x7. Anyway, so I have a, a lot of different... I'm not dedicated to one designer or anything like that. Something else I store in here are my tiles. Now, these are supposed to be stickers that you can use. It peels off. It's from Canvas Corp. They peel apart, but I use them on my jelly plate. They remind me of linoleum flooring. And so when I do a jelly plate, I just take this and smoosh it down in the jelly plate and pick it up. And that's why they look kind of bad. They look dirty, but I don't care. All right, and there's the other one. I think I have three or four of them. There's the third one right there. And like I said, I'm not married to one designer. I just pick out what I like and I go with it. So I may have... I, I, I'm going to have to be on the expansion plan for these guys because I don't know where to put them. All right, so let me put this here. All right, so this is how I store the little ones. I had, I guess I got this at Tuesday morning, the 4x6 pockets for photos. And I picked them up. And then the little tiny ones. I don't know what size are these. I think these are, what are they, 4 by? I think these are 4x4s or 4x3s can't see that one it's so dirty anyway so I put my little ones in here then I have the little teeny ATC ones from Joggles and I put them in the same kind of same kind of pockets these are uh, stencils that I have not used yet at Michael's they're in the actual stencil stencil like put it on the wall stencil section in Michael's but I don't care they, they look like they'd still be great stencils for other things. So I bought them, and they were relatively inexpensive. And I think when I bought them, they were actually on sale. Because, you know, I'm cheap like that. Then I got my Tim Holtz ones. And I try to put two in each one of these. Because the tall stuff is kind of hard to find. There's some stuff to make designs with on Jelly Plate. And again... More the tiny Tim Holtz. I like the tiny Tim Holtz ones. And then I have the large Tim Holtz. It's sticking way out of the pocket, but, you know, it works. So this is my system for my, for my uh, stencils. Now, I have stencils that were too big to go in these, and I didn't want to get another album, so I saw that somebody else used these double-sided pockets. So anything that was kind of off the beaten track sort of size, like this stuff, that's really meant to be on a wall, not really for stenciling, stenciling. I bought these at Hobby Lobby for $1.99 each. So I just put them in the pocket here. The back side's got the same type stuff. Oh, the back side. Eh. There was a hot phase at one time, if you went to Dollar Tree, there was a little notebook, and in front of the spiral notebook, there were these kind of um, plastic... I don't know, what do you call them? Uh, page. 
and people went crazy over them. We all went out and, and went to Dollar Tree, and I used the, I, I still have the spiral, spiral notebooks they came on, but everybody cut them off and used them for stencils, and it cost a dollar. Each one of these cost a dollar because a notebook came with it. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, that's all that's in there. I think there were two or three designs, and I must have missed the boat on the third one. Again, these are just stencils that I bought when my grandson was little. I've never used it. Then there's masks and all kinds of... Oh, this is the... the oh, I love this. The Dina Wakely... Um, what do they call this? Target or Bullet or whatever this... I can't remember what it's called. I love this stencil. It's called a mask, but I don't care. I like it. Mask and stencil. <gasps> One of my favorites. It's not really clean. Oh, see, and there's somebody's stencils missing off of this one. Don't know where it is. This, I don't know where this came from. I have no idea where I got this from. But I like it. It makes lots of little dots. And then the larger stencils, the 8x8s, they fit in here perfectly in this, in these um, envelopes here. I mean the holders, the pockets. So anything that's off the beaten path, like I said, in size, that kind of stuff. Oh, here's a Patty Tolly Parish in there and this came off of who knows what I don't know um, I have no idea where that came from there's another Patty Tolly there's some more Tim Holtz these are the large ones and then look I have room to grow all right so that's it for my stencil storage see you guys later I hope you get some good ideas see you later bye bye <laughs>